Hello everyone and welcome to the 8th day of our Redstone Advent Calendar, counting down the days towards Christmas with some bite-sized redstone. I've got a 5 minute clock for you today and chances are you've seen this contraption before, you know this trick. If that's so then stick around because I've got a command block alternative here in which you can expand and change the 5 minute duration. So anyway, let's have a look at the vanilla contraption right here. You can see there is an item on the pressure plate. If you didn't know, when an item is chucked into the world, it has five minutes before it despawns. So when that pressure plate becomes unpowered, this redstone torch is going to turn on. It's going to send another item onto the pressure plate, and then it's going to wait there for five minutes until it despawns, and the thing is activated all over again. So as far as the tutorial goes, you can see everything that you need right here. So this may be useful for activating some farms, let's say every five minutes. What you can do is fill this up with junk items. You could also have a hopper and a chest pointing into this as well. And it's a really cool way to make a compact little five minute timer. And that is perfect timing like I've ever seen it. That is actually a client and server side glitch that you're seeing right now. It is actually on the pressure plate. So don't be alarmed by that. You can see um, that the redstone torch is going to, to stay off. And that is just so silly right there. As I said, that is a client side glitch. It means the game server knows where the item is, but the client seems to think it's somewhere else. And you can actually avoid that by putting blocks all around this. However, I wanted to leave a gap so that we could uh, pick up the item and you could see it in action, but our timing just happened to be perfect. So the last thing I think I wanted to mention there is that, you know, cobblestone is pretty disposable once you've got tons of it. And yes, this has a finite amount of uses. That's something that you consider if ever you choose to use a timer like this. So moving on to the command block, this thing works with the same principle. Let's have a look at the command. This will be available in the description box. We're summoning the item on top of the pressure plate. So that's like the dropper over there shooting it out in front of it. And the item can be anything really, but I've set it to stone. I've also set its count to one, so it's just one item. And this item is invulnerable as well, which means that nothing can destroy it. And also you can make it so the player can never pick it up. If you use this number right here, it means the player will never pick up that item. Now we can also specify an age for this as well. And 6000 is where the item will automatically despawn. Like that's where the limit is for the game. So this number right here is actually 5 minutes or when it's 6000 it is. Because every 20 is 1 second. So that's 20 game ticks for 1 actual second. So we've deducted... Um, 40 ticks there, which means this thing is going to be okay for um, two seconds. So one, two, and it despawns, and then another one gets spawned in again. So this is a way to create a custom timer. Now, if you make this number smaller, the uh, the timer or the delay is going to get bigger. So now we're working with five seconds before it disappears and summons in a new one. And if you go into the negative with this number right here, then you can take it even further than five minutes of delay, which is really cool. And this one never runs out as well, because obviously it doesn't have an inventory. It's a command block. So that's it from me today. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like and be sure to go and check out Mumbo's video as well. Hope you're enjoying the advent calendar. It's been a lot of fun to record. That's it from me. So as always, thank you ever so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.